Hi, okay, so my name is Jess and I'm a thriftaholic. I'm going to thread up to try to get rid of some of my inventory. I am a reseller and I had a store up to about 900 on eBay. I also sell on Poshmark, Mercari, Etsy, I forget. But anyways, um, I have too much and I'm kind of just like wanting to clean out my inventory and my steel items or things that would sell much better on thread up. I'm just sending in. I do return assurance, which is I believe 1099. So the items that they don't want, I get back. And I've been told by other um, resellers that I just keep sending it in and ThreadUp will eventually accept it. Unless it is flawed, they do not accept flawed items or clothing without the tags inside the clothes, you know, that shows the brand and size. Let's get started. I have sent in about five kits so far, or boxes, they call them kits. And I started on June 21st. Today is July 5th. This is two, 2020 if I could talk um, so I just want to show you the process from the very beginning I checked today on ThreadUp's website and you can actually print out your own labels there have been a lot of people that have only been able to request um, them to mail you a bag which I was one of them after I sent in four boxes uh, they said they had just had too much to process but that was only two days ago and I am already able to print out a label I live in Illinois and my shipments are have all gone to a Vernon, Illinois warehouse for ThreadUp. So I'm going to show you what I'm sending in and then I will do a follow-up video probably three months later when all the listings are complete and give you my total payouts. All right, let's get started. Also, thank you for joining. If it's your first time, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the like, the like or thumbs up. Here's a Trina Turk. It's just a nice career dress with a cute sleeve. I've had this mm, nine months, probably. And I buy my items low. I buy them at $1.50 or at the bins. Um, I'll let you know if I pay up for something, okay? Get $1.50 for this. This is Talbot's. And it's got the leather sleeve, pleather sleeve, I believe. Cute, I've had this. I thought this would go this last winter and it didn't. So I'm sending it in because I just sold some worn Talbot's black pants for $67 on Thread Up. They were a size 16 and so I got a $25 payout and somebody gave me those pants. So that's just pure profit. So I went through and I'm sending all my Talbot stuff into Thread Up. Okay. Here we have, I have never sold this brand before, but it was $1.50, I believe, so I had to pick it up. Some Ashley Mason, they're kind of like goth, you know, with the distressed leg. Um, here's another Talbot's, just a nice button up, polka dot, it's a size four. I've had this in my posh, or in my eBay store and my posh closet for at least six months. Here is a brand I'm not familiar with, Lumiere. I think somebody gave this to me, if I recall. It's just like a cute waterfall front with uh, sheer on the back. Here's an athleisure dress, which I got this for $1.50, I think. Um, and I thought it would sell really quick because athleisure dresses usually tend to do pretty good. And it is a decent brand, or so I thought. So I boo, but I think I had this for like $12 on my eBay store and it didn't sell so I'm gonna send it in because I love it here is a sweater my mom gave me a couple years ago it's CJ Banks I do not pick this up to thrift but since it was free and no tags CJ Banks is plus size I'll give it a shot all right I hear so many people saying that they sell lucky brand all the time but guess what I don't <laughs> I think I've sold one pair of pants before Here's a cute blouse. It feels like silk by Lucky Brand. Oh no, I'll have to look. I'm gonna test this out. So the material content is cut out. The size is present, so I'm going to see if they will take it because it feels like silk. All right, here's soft surroundings. I love the brand, but it hasn't been moving for me very well the last six months. It's just a nice open front cardigan. It's got like a silver metallic thread throughout. I'm going to give that a shot. This is um, something that somebody gave me, I believe. It's just a wrap sweater with a cute little buckle detail. 
Uh, it is plus size. I tried it on myself, but um, obviously I'm not a 2X and it, it's made for a 2X person, but it is darling. I love it. I love wrapped and draped clothes. Very flattering. Here we have cachet. Now, I believe this store went bankrupt. It used to be quite cashy. I did pay $1.50 for these. I probably shouldn't have gotten them. I've hardly had any views on eBay with these. So I'm just sending them to thread up. Give it another shot. And then here we have Michael Kors cropped pants. Not Michael by Michael Kors. This is actual Michael Kors. There is a difference. Michael by Michael Kors is the lowest tier. And the resale value for it is pretty poor. Those are cute. Here are some David Kahn pants. It's just not a very, it's a wide leg. It's not a very popular style. Um, it's a brand. So yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, these are just sitting, hardly getting any views or any, like I'm not even getting likes on these on Poshmark. So yeah. All right, I'm going to show you a series of Michael by Michael Kors pants. Uh, that are new with tags. I tried doing retail, retail arbitrage when I was only about six months into reselling because I didn't realize <laughs> my mistake that even though it shows a high retail value, it does not mean it's worth it to resell. Went to Marshalls for their, whatever the lowest sticker tag is, I think yellow tag, maybe it's red tag. Anyways, I got Michael, Michael by Michael Kors pants for nine dollars they were new tags for like 110 to 120 i could not sell them for the life of me i even got them down to like 15 dollars 10 dollars and i didn't really want to lose money on them um show you the tag there's that i think these have cute studs stud cuff down here um and they have the Michael Kors. Well, see, never mind. This one says Michael Kors, but it is Michael by Michael Kors. So those previous pants I showed you are probably Michael by Michael Kors. My bad. Okay. So like I said, I have those. I have the raw hem ones. Um, these are the Izzy skinnies. I was going, I wish they're like a size bigger because I totally keep them. Oh, and see, I um, accidentally detached one of the tags, so I'm going to stick it in the pocket. These I paid three dollars for. Uh, they're just Gap, but they're twenty-four. They are teeny tiny, and they're boot cut. You know, um, I'm staying away from boot cut jeans now because they're an older style. I'm guessing they'll come back in a few years as fashion constantly leaves and comes back. But for right now, there's no sense in keeping them. Yeah. So all these Michael by Michael Kors I'm showing you, I paid nine dollars for at Marshalls, and this has the cute raw cut hem. These are the Izzy Skinny's mid-rise. Yeah, I mean, and I could have returned them. Um, however, I didn't want to. So, all right, here we have Citizens of Humanity cuffed. These are the Danny cropped. I got these for $1.50. I've had them in my closet, my posh closet for about a year. I've hardly had any attention with them. Same thing with these wild, these are Joe jeans. They just aren't, you know, very desirable. Maybe if they were distressed. They are skinny, but they are low rise. I believe that's low, yeah. And they just don't, they're a 27, and they just don't, um, you know, people want the mid rise or high rise, including myself. <laughs> Here's some Paige jeans, they're all not created equally. If you watch other thrifts, these are our wide flare leg. I'm trying to think of the style name. This is Hidden Hills. So yeah, like I said, if things haven't gone in like a year, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Now the vintage I am keeping because obviously they don't sell vintage and I prefer vintage to sell. Here is an Eileen Fisher. It's a wool blend. It looks kind of shrunk. I highly doubt they'll take it, but I'm just going to try. Um, I did pay $4 for this just because I was so excited. I never find Eileen Fisher at my local thrift stores. So very rare. And if, can you see how it's just shorter? Um, 
I'll see if they take it, but I did pay four for that. And then this is so cute. It's Talbot's. Um, but look at the back. It's got the cute um, buttons at the bottom. And that is an extra small. And you know, the smaller sizes usually are harder to sell. I love selling large, extra large, or an up. Oh, here we have another Eileen Fisher. I found this. I did pay $5 for this one. I found this at a local Salvation Army. It's got pockets. It does have a slight fade. It's not super, super black. It's not as faded as it looks on camera. It's a small. And Eileen Fisher tends to do a lot better. It's a midi. Tends to do a lot better with the plus sizes. So I've had this for sale for six months. Hardly any attention. So I'm sending that one in. And the last piece I'm going to send in is new with tags. It is the newer White House Black Market tag. So just keep that in mind. This is the newer one. You want to look for this. And it retailed for $78, which really isn't that bad. It's just this open knit. Is it a cardigan? No, nope, it's open front, like tunic length. It's cute. What size is it? Small. So, okay. Um, when you send in your kits to thread up, you can do up to 30 pounds, which you want to maximize as much poundage, that's such a word, as you can because you're paying, well, I'm guessing you're paying for return assurance, which is $10.99. And I would highly, highly recommend expedited processing, especially right now in 2020, because they have delays due to um, shortened staff and a lot of people clearing out their closets. Um, you do not get, once an item sells, you do not get paid for the first 30 days because a buyer can return an item for fit or if they just don't like it. So you will not get your payout for 30 days. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Okay, so when you send your kit in, they notify you via email. You need to frequently check your emails. I suggest every day, twice a day, and I'll tell you why. So it takes them about 10 days to process your kit if you get expedited processing, which is, I believe, $15 to $16, $15.99. I can't, I can't remember the exact price, but you should get expedited processing and I'll tell you because they are so far behind on the normal processing that it will be several months before your stuff is processed. I can't tell you an exact time because there are several warehouses throughout the United States. Um, mine are all being sent to Vernon, Illinois, which according to some other thread up sellers, I believe Vernon is not slammed like the other ones. I believe the Georgia warehouse is currently not even accepting kits right now. Everything is being rerouted somewhere else. Just um, FYI, doesn't really affect you because they print out their labels. Has nothing to do with when you print them out because already done from thread up. So yes, printing out your labels is the quickest way because it takes seven to 14 days for them to send you a thread up bag. And I actually could only request a thread up bag after I sent in four kits um, because they were still processing those boxes. And since I'm a new seller, I don't think they wanted to give me all those labels at once. So I got the bag and I was a little disappointed, which I kind of expected. The bag was about half the size of the boxes I have been using. My box sizes are about 20 inches by 20 inches by 20 inches. Um, you want to make sure it's securely wrapped because it's going through FedEx, so it will get shoved and kicked and pushed around, so make sure you wrap it really well. Um, what other things can I tell you? If you have it picked up or drop it off at a USPS, they are connected with the Parcel Select program, so it will go to FedEx, but it will take extra days. And if you're trying to be as quick as possible, I highly suggest dropping it off in any Walgreens. They're affiliated with the FedEx. Um, as they do pickups Monday through Friday um, or at your local FedEx pickup. I don't have one around where I live, so I go to my local Walgreens. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, and I haven't, I've learned all this from, I think Vandy's Closet, I will link her down below. And on Instagram, Jessica, she, I have been DMing her almost every single day. She is amazing and very patient with me. Um, her Instagram handle is Reselling Mama. I will link her as well, but they've been great resources for me to learn. There's also Nikki at, um, she has a YouTube channel as well. It is Nikki Beauty Buys, 
and she does ThreadUp and the other reselling platforms. So you should really try out ThreadUp. I was hesitant for about six months and I finally decided now is the time. Um, you have nothing to lose. You know, I mean, my old inventory or actually a lot of the stuff that I previously sent in was donated clothing to myself. And like I said, I've already sold four items and my first kit has been for sale for about a week. Um, so I'm thrilled with my progress so far. A lot of people that come on YouTube and slam, oh, I sent in all this high end stuff and I got pennies. It's because when I told you earlier to check your emails twice a day, because they tell you when it's processed and as soon as your items are processed, that means that they photographed it and they drafted up a listing. They come up with their own pricing. It depends on the brand and what kind of clothing it is and they highly discount it because obviously they want items to sell quickly and you have exactly 12 hours, let me say again, 12 hours to adjust your pricing on all of your items before they go up for bidding, which I just learned about bidding the other day from um, Vindy's Closet. So I believe bidding is a 12 hour period where the price that um, is set, they have 12 hours of open bidding don't quote me, but I believe that's how it goes. 12 hours where somebody can buy the item at the price either thread up selected or the price you changed it to, but it's a bid. So if you've already maxed out your bid, chances are it's it's not going to get bid on unless it's a highly desirable item. Um, so after the 12 hours of bidding, then you have the option of changing your price if you miss the first 12 hour window. So for instance, if this is like your part-time hustle and you're a nurse or whatever, and you work a 12 hour shift, it's going to be difficult for you to regularly monitor, but you can go back in after the 12 hour bidding and change your price if you miss that 12 hour first window. Um, that is key, is adjusting your prices. And you can adjust your prices significantly. I should just do that for a different video or YouTube, how to adjust your prices on ThreadUp. It's super, super, super simple. It's very, like I can't explain how easy it is. You can adjust up to 80% of the retail value, which I max out my um, things. And like I said, I have sold four items in a week with my first kit, and I believe it's like 24 items. So that's pretty good um, sell through rate so far. And you can go in whenever you want and you can adjust your price. You can keep lowering it. You have 60 to 90 days to sell an item, depending on if it's a low tier or a mid tier clothing brand. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to do a follow up of my kit and let you know what they take, what they don't take, and my total payouts. So I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry if I talk so fast. I just feel like there's so much to cover, and I didn't wanna ramble because if you look back at my previous videos, um, I like to do side stories. So if you are into reseller content, please subscribe. I do other videos where I tell you what sold on other platforms like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and some Etsy. Thank you, and enjoy. Bye.